All right, so for logical connectors, this combines two propositions with the word and, or, or. <laughs> so when, use, when we use the word and between two propositions, it creates a new proposition. For an AND statement to be true, and what I mean by that is if I say, I am going out tonight and I'm going to the movies, in order for that statement to be true, both things have to be true. In order for an AND statement to be false, either one is false. This will make way more sense once we do an example. Then we have an OR connector. And if we put it between two propositions, it also creates a new proposition. And for an OR statement to be true, just either one has to be true. An OR statement to be false, both are false. So let's see, what in the heck do I mean? So when I go to this example three, I'm actually not gonna move it up so I can refer to these uh, notes we took. All right, so it says determine the truth value of the following propositions. So A, a cat meows and a dog speaks English. So I'm just going to focus on my and rules, which are right here. So a cat, let's break it up into two separate propositions so I can figure out the truth value of each. A cat meows, that's true. We can all agree with that, hopefully. <laughs> Now a dog speaks English. I know you might fight me on this and say, but my dog says hello to me when I walk through the door and that is awesome if he or she does. <laughs> uh, we don't wanna get too wrapped up into those little caveats that happen or we saw that once in a blue moon. It's generally speaking, otherwise we can drive ourselves mad. So generally speaking, a dog does not speak English. Now remember, in order for this entire statement to be true, and it's an or, I'm sorry, an and, both have to be true. So that is why this is false. For the next example, it says your Math 105 instructor is Stephanie, or you do not attend PCC. So this is an or statement, so I'm focusing here. Your Math 105 instructor is Stephanie. Well, that's true, right? Lucky, luckily you, you're listening to this video right now <laughs> and it's made by me, so I am your teacher for this term. Or you do not attend PCC. Well, in order to take this class, you have to be a PCC student, so that's false. The difference is this is an or statement. So you just need one proposition to be true for the whole Thing to be true. All right, now we're going to use this information to do some truth tables. So example four says complete the following tables, and I'm just going to move it up more so I can see everything. I'm going to claim I have to these two propositions. One is P, which claims Louie is a dog. And so if you remember when I introduced you to my animals, <laughs> the intro video, Louie is my dog's name, okay? And Flash is a cat. Flash is my cat's name. So here we're gonna do a negation and double negation table. We're just gonna focus on P for now. So the only options for P are is it's true or it's false. So Louis is either a dog or Louis is not a dog. And the negation of that, the not P, 
Mathematically, the symbol I could use is a tilde. That means the same thing. Well, that's just the opposite of what I said. So that means this is false and this is true. Now the double negation, our symbols could look like this, is just the opposite of the not piece. So then I'm going to do the opposite of false, so that's true. The opposite of true, that's false. This can get very confusing. <laughs> you want to um, like think about sometimes when we vote on house bills, they use this method, um, I think sometimes to confuse voters and they think they're voting against something, but really they're voting for something because they're using a double negative. Um, so this knowing this logic can be very helpful in life. Okay, so an and statement, P and Q, remember is only true if both are true. Now this is always going to be the way we come up with these tru truth tables in this combination, so then all of ours match. I'm going to list this is true, true, false, false. And then this is going to be true, false, true, false. So get in the habit of doing that because this actually represents every combination we can think of because order doesn't matter with these. Um, and so you want to make sure your table can match your peers in case you're checking work or you know if you're sending me your work which is awesome if you want me to check it before you turn it in or you know homework problems that you're having issues with if we're not in the same order and it could send us down a bad hole so it's just nice to always do this orientation alright so I'm claiming here Louis is a dog and Flash is a cat both of those are true so the whole statement is true Louie is a dog and Flash is not a cat. That is not true. Right? Because they both have to be true because it's an and statement. Louie is not a dog and Flash is a cat. Mm, whole thing's false because one of them's false. Louie is not a dog and Flash is not a cat. Both of those things are false. So the whole statement is false. So the only way you have a true statement with ands is if they're both true. Now the or, move this up, is true if either or both are true. Now this is known as an ex inclusive or. Let's, this is discussed in your text, but let's make a quick note of it. Inclusive or means either or both. Exclusive means just one. So a good example of that is when you order something at a restaurant and they say fries or salad. Sure, you could pick two, both, but you'll have to pay for one of them, right? So that's not an inclusive or. It doesn't include both. So again, the same kind of combination we came up with earlier. This is true, true, false, false. And then I alternate starting with true. All right. Louis is a dog or Flash is a cat. Well, that's true because they're both true. Louis is a dog, true, or Flash is not a cat. Well, one's false, but it doesn't matter because at least one of them's true because it's an or statement, so it's true. False or true. One's true, so it's true. And they're both false. What does that mean again? Let's see. They're both false, the whole statement's false. Which makes sense, right? Because neither is true, so the whole thing has to be false. So the only way to get a false with an OR statement is if both are false.